Hello everyone, and in this video, we'll be reading numbers from a text file on the computer using C. Throughout this video, I'll be going over a step-by-step -step method on how each line of code works and how it allows us to read the file from the computer. First thing we will do is include our libraries. We will need to include the standard input-output library and also include the standard C library as well. After that, we can create our main function and then we can begin. To start, we will declare some variables and objects that will help us with this process. The first thing we will need is a file pointer. A file pointer is a pointer that is used to keep track of files being accessed in memory. We use the keyword file followed by the asterisk to declare a file pointer and then we just give it a name. Since we'll be reading integers from the file through the input stream, we will need an integer variable to store this value so we can print it to the terminal screen. Okay, so now that is done, we need a way to get to the file we are looking to read information from. For that, we can use the fopen function. The fopen function is used to open a file that returns a file pointer. If you don't know what a pointer is, it is basically an object that stores a memory address which allows it to point to a location in memory. What that means is that once we use the fopen function to specify the location of the file, our pointer will be pointing to that file in our computer. So in order to point to the file in memory of the computer, we use the fopen function and inside the parameter of the function, we specify the location of the file in memory, or in this case, where our file is stored on the computer. And then we specify the mode. The mode tells the pointer and the program what you want to do with the file. R, in this case, stands for read. You can have other modes such as W for writing or even A for append. You can even have R+, which allows you to both read and write to the file. But for us, we are just going to read things from our file. Next, we will want to add a failsafe in case our file does not exist or something goes wrong while the program is trying to read the file. So right after that line of code, we will check if the fopen function has been successful in opening or pointing to the file on the computer. If it has, great, then we can read what is in the file. If not, then we will end the program and print it out to the terminal screen. Also note that we changed the return code to 101. Doing this allows us to know exactly where our code uh, ran into an error. Now that we have that done, let us read things from the file. This part is very important, so you may want to pay close attention. In order to read things from the file, we will use a while loop. The function that allows us to read from a file is called the fscanf function. This function acts similarly to our scanf function. However, we have to specify one more thing in the parameters. We need to specify the pointer to the file, uh, what value we will be expecting to read from the file, and a place to store it. We will be expecting only integer variables from the file. That is why we specify the num n integer variable in the parameter section. Try and study the format of this line of code. The fscanf function returns 1 for every successful passing and 0 if it's not able to read um, the information from the file. Um, I would advise that you watch my video on input validation if you need a refresher on the scanf function and how it is used to validate input. Anyway, after every read, we will expect to get 1 as a result. And if we don't get 1, we know that we are done reading the information from the file. Note that after every good read, we print it to the terminal screen. So after that, we are done reading things from the file. 